This video is a kind of slower down version of the lesson we did in class on the specific heat and heat of vaporization formulas. I wanted to go through it with one more example um, to support people that just wanted to see it again. And do, we'll do more practice in class. And if you're not getting it, you could obviously just come here. So the first question is, this is a lab. This is done on page 9 if you're actually watching this for the first time. This is done on page 9. It takes the whole page. And what this is is the graph of the water boiling lab that we did that um, kind of shows what it would have looked like. We didn't have time to graph it because of the CASI testing. So we're just going to make this generic graph. But this is about what yours should look like. If you remember the last few minutes of boiling, the, the temperature didn't increase. It stopped going up after 100. And then over here, the water went up and up and up. So make this graph, and we're going to call this first point 20 degrees Celsius, and we'll call this right up here 100 degrees Celsius. And we want to answer this big question, where did all the energy go, and how much energy thermal was used? And you really do this by breaking it up into two parts. The first part we'll call the change in temp. This is when the temperature of the water was increasing. And the second part we'll call change in phase. Energy that was consumed during this part, because it was still sitting on the hot plate, it was still taking in energy during change of phase. So let's do the first part. First part is using an idea called specific heat. It's the energy needed to change temperature of any material one degree Celsius. And it gets the symbol C. This would be specific heat. For example, C of H2O equals 484 joules per kilogram of water. So 484 joules per kilogram of water to raise one kilogram of water one degree Celsius. Now that number would be different to heat up a kilogram of iron versus a kilogram of, oh, we don't know, aluminum. So different materials have sp different specific heats. And the symbol in the formula is C. Your formula is Q equals M C change in temperature. So this is temp change. This is the specific heat of whatever material. We could be heating up um, a, a certain type of metal. We could be heating up some type of liquid. For example, alcohol has a different specific heat than water. This is mass in kilograms. And this is heat added or taken away in joules. I say taken away because if an object was cooling off, it would be a negative Q, a negative heat loss. Heat would be removed because temperature is going down. So let's do an example. If we say mass equals 120 grams, we know this is water, so it's four, C is 4184. And we'll say the change in temperature is from 20 to 100. So the change in temperature is 80 degrees. The difference between the start and the finish is 80 degrees. Solve for Q. First thing we need to do is change this to kilograms. 0 0.12 kilograms set up our formula 0 0.12 times 4184 times 80 
equals 40,166.4 joules. It's a positive number because we increased 80 degrees, so we added that many joules to the water to heat it up. Okay, that's the first part. So if I reset this, change in temp required 40166 joules. Okay, that was part one. Now we need to do change in phase. And in this example, this would be evaporation. And so we use the heat of vaporization. Okay, that definition is the energy needed to evaporate or condense a material. Okay, evaporate would be positive. You need to add energy to it. Condense would be negative when it rains when it goes from a steam back down to a liquid, energy is actually released. And it would be a negative answer. Formula is heat added equals mass times the heat of vaporization of that material. HV is this. HV water. So to go from to boil water, it's 2260 zero. Zero, zero, zero joules per kilogram. There is no temperature change when water is evaporating. It stays constant, so it's just mass times this number. Now, here's an important point. This mass right here, and put a star by this, is the mass evaporated. So if in your lab, we started with 120 grams and then we boiled it down to only 80 grams left over when you weighed it on the scale again how much did this right this is your evaporated mass how much flew away and it's the difference in this example how much did we lose 120 minus 80 equals 40 grams that's how much was evaporated. That's the number that goes there. So to solve for this phase change, Q equals 40 grams, 1, 2, 3, 0 0.4 kilograms, times 2,260,000. The answer is 904,000, and that's for the phase change. So if we get rid of this stuff, just to clean it up. We spent 40,166 joules heating it up and then 904,000 joules evaporating. So the total is part one plus part two. Equals 944,166 joules. And that's the one math problem you'll be asked to do for this topic. So here's one more example, just for practice. Okay. We take a container, sitting on a hot plate, it has 500 grams of water at 20 degrees Celsius. That's 20. We heat it up and boil it until there's only 100 grams left. We'll call it 2, just to make the math easier. At 100 degrees Celsius, total energy consumed. All right. 
This is two parts. Number one, specific heat. That's to change temp from 20 to 100 degrees. Part two, evaporation. And that's energy to evap. How many grams did we evaporate? We evaporated, we lost 300. So part one, Q equals M, C, change in T. 0 0.5 kilograms, you had to convert, times 4184, times our change in temperature was 80 degrees. That's 167,360 joules. Part two, evaporation. Q equals MHV. This is our evaporated mass. We lost 300 to evaporation. So it's 0 0.3 times heat of vaporization of water. It's 678,000. And so the total energy is part one plus part two. So if we add these together, we get, oh, I can't do that in my head. Well, let me try. 360, seven plus eight is five, carry the one. 14, carry the one. 845, 360 joules. I'm extremely proud of myself for doing that. <laughs> Okay, there'll be um, practice problems, of course. You may be doing those, and then you had to stop the practice and get some help from the video. So I uh, hope this works.